Hey everyone, how's it going today? So today we're going to be learning how to send an email using SendGrid and Node.js. The first thing you're going to have to do is go to this URL, it's just SendGrid.com, and you're going to have to make a free account. And yes, you can use a free account. There's a certain email limit, so you know, if you're making a big production app kind of site, you wouldn't be using a free account, but I'm assuming here that most of us are either just learning how to use it, or we're going to be implementing it into like a portfolio project or something something smaller so it should be fine to make the free one so we're gonna click start for free up here in the corner and you'll see it's gonna want your email address and your password so I'm just gonna type in a new one Next up, there's a plethora of information that we're going to be filling out here. I'm actually going to skip this because it's all just pretty self-explanatory, but you're going to want to do that. And there you go. You should be all set for this part. The account is made. Now we do have to make and verify a single sender. So you'll see the options right here, create single sender. And this one, I'll actually fill out in front of you just to show you how it looks in the email because you do want this to be right because it's how the email is going to work so I'm going to say it's from my name Michael Tona and from the email address xwheelz12 at gmail.com it's just like an extra email address I have and for reply to I'm going to put the same email address and then for the company address um, it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to say 123 test drive because obviously I don't have a company and I don't want to share my personal address. And then just a city, a state, a zip code, a country, and give it a nickname, which will just be for your eyes, I believe. Okay, so now you're going to want to go into that email account and you're going to want to verify the single sender. Next, we're going to create an API key. So once we click on this button, we're going to say full access. We're going to give it a name. And we're going to click create and view. Now, you won't be able to see mine, but that will be a key for you. I just don't really want to share it, so I'm going to hide it. Copy that and go into VS Code. Well, VS Code for me, whatever text editor you want. I'm going to say NPM I. And what I'm going to install here is going to be at sendgrid dash mail okay once that's installed I'm going to make a new file here just call this app.js and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new variable and I'm going to paste my API key to it you won't actually see that I cut that out of the video because again I don't want to show my API key so the first thing I'll do after that is say const sendgrid equals require and then send grid dash mail then I'm going to say send grid dot set API key and I'm going to pass that API key variable that I created which again you won't see okay next up we're going to make an asynchronous function here and for me I'm just going to call it send email you can name it whatever you want it really doesn't matter and it, inside of this we're going to do a try catch because we want to catch an error and what we're going to do is, actually, let's declare a variable at the top here. Let's say const message data equals, and we'll make a little object. And this is just going to be in the specific format, so you're going to want to format this the same way as me. So we're going to say who we want to send it to. I'm going to send it to my personal email address, michaeltona97 at gmail.com. And from, this is going to be from, uh, you know, xwheels12 at gmail.com, the sender that we verified. Obviously, you don't want to type my email in there for either. Type your own, please. The subject is going to be whatever. I'm just going to say test. And then we're going to have text and HTML. So I'll just write some boilerplate text. It really doesn't matter what you put in here. I would recommend for the HTML using an HTML tag, though. Just making sure that it, it looks right. 
right and then that should be everything that we need here so what we can do now inside of the try is we can call it so we can say await send grid and then we're going to say dot send and what we're going to want to pass here is this message data and then we're going to console log message sent just so that we know it's sent and it was successful because if not we're going to want to console log an error okay and then we're going to call the function and we're going to run this okay it says message sent and if we check it takes a few minutes but eventually we do in fact get the message get, give it like you know a good 20 minutes as long as you see that message sent it should work you should be getting an error if there's any reason that didn't work okay and that's going to be it for this video i hope you found this helpful this is a really quick easy thing to do i love using sendgrid for little small projects because of that you know free sender and i've also used it for some larger scale projects with clients just because i already know how to do it so i would highly recommend it if you have any questions let me know and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe thank you so much have a great day